Hi everybody, it's PJ here and yeah I know it's a long long time since I've made a video <laughs> but to be honest I have been incredibly busy really really busy and I've been doing some studying and this is just to show you that an old dog can learn new tricks let me just show you what I've been doing here we go look at that I says radio amateur Oh, sorry, I'll read it properly. Amateur radio examination passed. I am now what's known as a radio ham. There you go. Which means that I can use licensed radios. Anything up to 25 watts. Now, uh, what I did before I passed the exam was I bought a couple of radios. Let me just show you some of those that I've bought. I bought these, I bought four of these. Now these are actually set up to work on my uh, Simple Business channels. Uh, simple Business License costs you 75 quid for five years and I've got the license but anyone I authorise can use these licences. So when we're out and about as a family, I've got four of them, um, I can have one, the kids can have one in their car, uh, you know, so we've all got one each and uh, when we go to the caravan and they're in their caravan and we're in our caravan, we don't have to mess about with uh, phones, just pick it up, press the button and talk. And uh, it saves all that dialing and everything else, waiting for somebody else to answer the phone, etc, etc. So the great little things, um, made in China, obviously. In a built-up area, they're not very good. You'll probably get, what, half a mile. But when you're outside in the country and there's nothing in the way, you can, you can get five, six, seven, eight miles in open country with them. They only run on, like, uh, two watts, I think it is, or maybe three watts. But uh, you can you can buy and own these without, uh, without having to pass the exam, same as I've done. I have one of these, nice funky green colour. <laughs> now this is a TID Radio H8. Now this outputs 10 watts, which is the maximum that you're allowed to use on a handheld uh, radio. So this obviously will get a lot further than this. Uh, and it's got a lot more channels. It's only got 16 channels on it. You can program, I think it's 200 or 250 in this. And this has dual watch, so you can have two different channels on at the same time. And if one comes live, then you can hear it. And if the other channel comes live, you can hear it again. Now these are, they're for peanuts really. They're like 25, 30 quid uh, if you import them directly from China. Uh, so, yeah. Good little radio. I've also got a couple of these. These are Quang Shang. Quang Shang. <laughs> I bet you can't guess where this is from. Oh, hang on. The radio's going. Hang on, let me turn it off because uh, we don't really want to be listening to it, do we? There we go. Turn that one off and turn that one off. Yeah, so I bet you can't guess where this one's from. Yeah, you're right, it's from China. And uh, this is a dual bander as well, so if I turn it on. Here we go. Uh, you can see I've got on there my business channel. Oh, and I'm listening to uh, Gamston Airfield, which is just down the road. Now, I can't transmit on that, on the airband one, but I do have um, an airband transceiver because I'm licensed to have one because obviously uh, I had to have a radio to pass my exam as a pilot so there you go and then we've got this now this is a once again it's a TID radio but this is a H3 which is a smaller version of that funky green one I showed you now the, the uh, Chinese radios generally come in uh, assorted colours so you can pick what colour you want but I just picked a black one for this and a green one for the other one um, this one's got dual buttons on so uh, you can have both channels showing on here let me just show you I don't know if you'll be able to see it Welcome. 
So if you look on there, you can see the, in the little box at the bottom, I've got Business Channel 3 and Business, Business Channel 2 on there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's in focus or not. So uh, you can use two channels on there. Press that button at the top to talk to the top one and believe it or not, press that one on the bottom to talk to the bottom one. So, these are all cheap radios, that's all I bought, just cheap radios till I actually get into it and get used to um, operating. Now, these can work on repeaters and the very, very first call I ever got was somebody in the Netherlands. So what happens is I talk on that, that goes to a repeater which is in the centre of town about a mile away and that connects to loads of other repeaters and I actually got to speak to somebody in Netherlands my very first call so I would chuffed to mint balls with it. Now you might think that being a radio ham is a bit exciting but you know back in the day I used to be a CB. -er. <laughs> I used to have a CB and used to drive around with CB and you know talk to everybody and this is when CB was interesting you know they they worked roughly on the same kind of rules that uh radio ham do you know no swearing no bad language etc etc and uh, cb's not like that now they're effing and blinding on it or all all sorts of things on it so you know i'm not interested in going back on cb and that's why i've done the radio ham course now my dad was a radio ham and he used to have all this equipment and a massive big aerial at the bottom of the garden. I ain't got an aerial anywhere uh, at the moment. I've only got the handhelds. Uh, I do have a mag mount that'll go on top of the car, but uh, but that's about it. Now, my dad used to do uh, what they call CW, which was Morse code. And he used to work all over the world. He used to get them in Australia and New Zealand and everything. This is without a repeater. Uh, you know, just with the da di 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 da di da, whatever it is, uh, on Morse code. Now, I am going to start learning Morse code now. Um, that's if my brain will let me, because like I say, I'm going on a bit now, and I don't know. Can you learn that kind of stuff at my age? I'm kind of hoping so. So, anyway, that's what I've been doing. I am going to be making uh, some videos about all the different radios, and uh, if you're interested... You know, just let me know. Now, oh, where did I get uh, all the education and everything? Um, I went online uh, searching for radio ham courses and I went on a, a site called Essex Ham and you do it all over the internet. So uh, you sign up and then they start sending you uh, all these um, spreadsheets and PDFs and YouTube videos that you can watch so you can learn everything. And then uh, you apply to the uh, licensing authority. I think it was 35 quid for the test. And that's it for life. Once you've um, passed, they send you that certificate I've just shown you. You go on there, you put your number in and everything. Pick yourself a call sign and uh, that's it you're ready your call sign is there like that uh, so as soon as you do it online you can start transmitting now it's not illegal to own these radios without a ham license and it's not illegal to listen into the radio hams it's only illegal for you to transmit so if you do get one of these whatever you do don't start transmitting just have an earwig and listen to what's going on. Anyway, that's about it for this video. So I hope you found it interesting. If you're interested in ham radio, or perhaps you are a ham radio, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and uh, we might have a chat on, on the air, over the waves, over the radio waves. Anyway, like I say, that's about it for now. So hopefully I'm going to see you again in the future. And until then, I'll see you. Bye everybody, see you soon.